Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question one, seven times six equals what? So the answer is seven times six is 42. To calculate, we have seven groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question two, eight times seven equals what? So the answer is eight times seven is 56. To calculate, we have eight groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question three, eight times five equals what? So, the answer is, 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 4. 3 times 3 equals what? So the answer is, three times three is nine. To calculate, we have three groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Nine balls. Question five, four times four equals what? So, the answer is, 4 times 4 is 16. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 6. 3 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 3 times 7 is 21. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 7. 2 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is, 2 times 5 is 10. To calculate, we have two groups, with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 8. 6 times 4 equals what? So, 
The answer is 6 times 4 is 24. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 9. 3 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 8 is 24. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 10. 4 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 4 times 8 is 32. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 11. 8 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 9 is 72. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 12. 8 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 13. 5 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 7 is 35. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 35 balls. Question 14. 3 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 5 is 15. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 15. 9 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 6 is 54. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 54 balls. Question 16. 3 times 3 
equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 3 is 9. To calculate, we have three groups with three balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Nine balls. Question 17. 5 times 2 equals what? So the answer is, 5 times 2 is 10. To calculate, we have 5 groups, with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 18. 9 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 2 is 18. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 19. 6 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 3 is 18. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 20. 8 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is, 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome! Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.